Hey everyone, this is Eric here in Bangalore and we have entered day 38 of the COVID lockdown. A lot of people have been asking me if I miss my family and while I stay in touch with my mom, dad and sister, there's a group of friends and family that I do miss. When I realized that COVID was serious is when this organization announced that they're canceling all in-person events. And I usually base my year around what they were doing. When I decided to bike across the East Coast to the West Coast, it was because of this organization. When I decided to go down the entire West Coast, it was because of this organization. And, and kind of the decision to stay here is because they canceled everything. Connected in Motion is a Canadian nonprofit that does outdoor education for people living with type 1 diabetes. And they pull together these amazing weekends that really can transform our lives. But while I've been here, there's three photos sitting directly next to my computer that make me miss this Canadian family. And what's nice is that today I'll actually get to see a bunch of those people. So I decided I'll re release a film, but first let me show you these photos. Quick tour, kitchen, shower bath, bed, side desk, main desk, and this film is where these photos were taken. Good morning everyone, welcome back to uh, Algonquin Provincial Park for the Ontario Slipstream. And we got Erica back here, <laughs> kicking things off. So one reason I keep coming back to the Slipstream weekends is to talk about the adventure team, um, talk about these trips that Connect in Motion puts on to fundraise for outdoor programming that happens throughout the year. So canoeing trips with people with type one, hiking with type one, and doing all the filmmaking for that. And leaving this chat right now is really empowering, just being reminded of how much you learn being around other people with type one. And I think the reason I get involved with advocacy and using film specifically is because I know how empowering it can be to have that community, have people who have your back, who understand. And I just want to make sure that when people are diagnosed or when people have it for um, a lot longer that they know that they have a community that has their back because we're definitely stronger together. And so it's just really nice to see my old teammates, see everyone come out from the Yukon and show up here in Ontario, but then also see my teammates from 2017. I did the North Coast Trail, North Coast Trail there. Um, and just hear people's questions and hopefully inspire those next generation to keep growing our programs. So until then, we got a bunch more fun to have, go out canoeing, rock climbing, and we'll see uh, what everyone else is up to. I'll get you home Yeah! Yeah, let's go. When you were tired Stand next to you When you're in the fire I'll get you home Well, this is our Sunday morning, our last morning, and we are getting ready to either go on a run or head out in, on a polar bear dip or have coffee on the porch. <laughs> What, 
What are you, what are you, what are you thinking? Um, I'm terrified and I'm kind of like, why am I doing this? But also, why am I not doing it? So, just gonna go for it and hope I don't like get hypothermia. Um, gonna be great. Really excited. <laughs> You're a legend. <laughs> Mike, did you do this last year? No. How are you feeling about it? Regretting all of my life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the best life decision. Oh first. I didn't eat jump there. I jumped yesterday <laughs> because of the bottles. A standard backdrop for Canadian national parks or provincial parks. Q scenic background. Yeah. Uh, you Tech want to just start by saying your name, where you're from, and uh, how long you've had type one. I'm from. Oh, my name is Alan Hodder. <laughs> I'm from Burke's Falls, Ontario, a little town, and uh, I've had type one diabetes for 31 years now. I know you've been to a few slipstreams. See there, maybe how you discovered them, and then um, what brings you coming back each year? Uh, through Beyond Type One, uh, the community app that I have on my phone. That uh, uh, Heather sent me a message one day saying, "Hey, Alan, we're going to be up in uh, Sudbury having a cross-country ski trip. I see you're in the local area. Would you be interested in joining us?" I thought, "Well, I'm not sure if I can make it for the whole weekend, but I was able to come up for part of the time." And uh, so that was my first experience meeting the Connected in Motion group and it was a lot of fun just going skiing with the group and learning other people's experiences like just that was totally new for me. Um, I know a couple of diabetics in real life but not really closely as far as talking about diabetes goes so that was a really cool experience for me to meet with other type 1s and, uh, and get my feet wet there and then since then I've tried to make it to more of the, at least the local slipstreams. Uh, being fairly local to Cape Arrowhorn here, I'm, I don't have the excuse of not being able to make it because of distance. So, uh, yeah, it's been great. Like just getting to know literally over 100 uh, people with Type One. It's been awesome. If there's someone who's like hesitant or hasn't ever met another Type One, any <laughs> advice or words of wisdom you want to share with them? Uh, just keep an open mind to interacting with other people. I mean, it might be kind of new and intimidating and scary to think of uh, all the stuff that goes along with Type 1, but there's a whole community of support, so just be open to learning from other people, whether it be from their experiences managing their blood sugar or their emotional uh, roller coaster that can go on. Um, just be open to connect with other people and draw strength from people that have had years of experience uh, ahead of you so that it's not something you have to take on or take on as your own. Like, you know, you got a lot of support, and I find that about the diabetic communities. There's always somebody willing to lend you a hand, you know, one way or another, whatever you need is. So it's a pretty tight knit group. Yeah. A third that will go with Sarah, and a third that will go um, with Gamble, and you'll head out and do something beautiful with them. Um, and then, do you want them to come back? Yes? Gamble, what do you think of this slipstream versus, versus the last one? <laughs> I thought it was really good. That is so close up. Uh, I thought it was pretty amazing of how many new people there were and like, just like hearing their experiences of like the first time I went to a slipstream or Connected Motion event and just like how impactful it was for them. So it was really amazing to feel and see. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for closing that out. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> see everyone. <laughs> Alright, I spoke too soon. I looked over the emails and Connected Emotion is optimistic that they will run the Ontario Slipstream which happens in late September, so we'll have to stay tuned for that. But if you know me, I love finding the silver lining of any situation. It's the motivation of using diabetes as an excuse to travel and explore the world. And since all of their events now are virtual, 
you don't have to be in Canada or the US to meet other people living with type 1 diabetes. You can tune in from Bangalore and meet people that are on the adventure team uh, that can talk about dealing with severe lows or mental burnout. And it's also a way to help nonprofits during these times. So check out the link below and remember that you can go anywhere, do anything. Shivering my ass on fire. <laughs> <laughs>